Hi students, this is Miss Winokur. Today we're going to be reading The Hula Hooping Queen. So this story is about Kamika and she has a hula hooping competition, but her mom has other plans for her. So we're going to learn about how she changes her mind from the beginning of the story till the end of the story. This was written by Thelma Lynn Godden and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. So this is called a dedication. An author will dedicate the book that they wrote to people that mean a lot to them. So it says to Pat, the best hula hoop maker, you make my world go round. So TLG is the author's initials. And then the illustrator says for Zoe Ben in China, my hula hoop and family. Today is the day I'm going to beat Jamara Johnson at hula hooping. Tomorrow, I will be the hula hooping queen of 139th Street. Jim Jamera says she's going to be the queen forever. But last week, I almost beat her. I sort through my hula hoops, and I pick out my favorite, and then I feel it coming on. The itch. The hula hooping itch. My fingers start snapping. My feet start tapping. My hips start swinging. And I'm just reaching for a hoop when Mama says... Girl, don't even think about it. You know today is Miss Adeline's birthday. Heat washes up all over me and I stamp my foot. Don't get me wrong. I love Miss Adeline. She lives right next door to me. Miss Adeline took care of Mama when she was little and she took care of me too. She's like my very own grandmother. But Mama, I bursted out. I can't help with Miss Adeline's party. I'm supposed to meet Jamera. Today's the day. Mama stands as still as water in a puddle. She gives me the look. Do you guys know that look when you guys get in trouble from your mom or dad or grandma? And then she hands me a broom. I sigh loudly and start sweeping. But when Mama's not watching, I put push my favorite hula hoop a little bit closer to the door with my toe. What do you think she's going to do? Mama and I dust every room and scrub down the floors. We polish every window until we can't see the New Jersey. And after that, I peel potatoes while Mama's mixing up her special double fudge cake. Kanika set the oven to 350, Mama says, as she empties the least of the sugar into the mixing bowl. And add sugar to the groceries list. I push the button on the oven and look out the window. It's already getting late. I bet Jamila Jamar is telling everyone I'm too scared to hula hoop her. So what do you think is going through Kamika's mind? Right now, all she wants to be doing is what? Can you tell me? I want you to pause this video. Tell me what do you think is going through her mind? While the cake bakes, we make up plates of fancy sandwiches. Then Mama slices strawberries and tells me how to make whipped cream. When the timer rings, Mama opens the oven. Kamika, Mama yells. As she checks the oven temperature, you only set it to 250 degrees. Miss Adeline's cake looks like someone sat on it. Mama says we're going to have to start all over. So I want you to think, why did the oven only go to 250 degrees? What was Kamika thinking of the entire morning as she's trying to get ready for this party that she doesn't really want to be helping with? Mama sends me to the store to go buy more sugar. On the way out the door, I grab my hula hoop like I usually do, but when I get outside, I remember that I'm on a mission. Miss Adeline's party will start in a couple of hours. Mama has to finish the potato salad, and we still have to make another cake. I don't even twirl my hoop as I hurry down the street. I don't stop to blow kisses to Miss Evelyn or wave to Mr. John in the bakery because she's on a mission. Her mission, what do you remember? She's trying to win the hula hoop competition. I'm coming out of the store when I see Jamera and Portia hopping on the floor of 139th and Broadway. We thought you weren't coming, Kamika, says Jamera with a smirk. I need to get back to get sugar for my mama. But Jamera sounds so smug, I can't stand it. Well, you thought wrong, I tell her. You ready, she asked. I was born ready. And then I feel it coming on. The itch. The hula hoop and itch. Whoever ho hops the longest is the winner, Portia says. As soon as she shouts, go, my fingers start snapping, my feet start tapping, my hips start swinging, and I'm going to beat Jamera today. Neighborhood kids crowd as Jamera and I hop, hoop 
Cars honk and slow down. Trucks roar past, throwing up heat and dust from the pavement. Swish, swiggle, swish. Do you guys know what that's called when the author uses sounds as words? Those are called onomatopoeias. Jamara frowns. You've been practicing some, she says. That's right, girl. A grin greater than Brooklyn. Bridge stretches across my face. The sun moves between buildings and the sidewalk starts cooling down, but Jamara and me keep on hopping. I've got donuts for Miss Adeline's party, said John, as he calls out as he's closing up the bakery. Swish, swiggle. What do you guys remember those words are called? If you remember, onomatopoeia, you got it. Great job. Miss Adeline's cake, I shout. <gasps> My hoop clatters through the sidewalk. I grab it and the sugar and race up the block. I hear Jamara laughing behind me. So it looks like someone's going to get in trouble. Ooh, look at Mama. Look at her look. By the time I reach our apartment, Mata Mama is madder than a hornet. Kamika Hayes, she scolds. Has your parent ever said that? So when I was in trouble when I was a kid, my mom would be like, Sarah Elizabeth Winokur. And then I would know I did something wrong. I'm sorry, Mama. I saw Jamara and, girl, I don't want to hear about the hula hoop and nonsense. It's too late now. Miss Adeline's already here. You can take yourself onto the living room and explain to Miss Adeline why she doesn't have a cake. Miss Adeline brought her own music, and she turned it up loud. She's sitting and listening to a jazzy blues tune, nodding her head like a spring robin, looking for a worm. Hi, Miss Adeline, I say. Happy birthday. Kamika, come here. Give me a kiss. I come in close and kiss Miss Adeline's soft cheek, and then I whisper in her ear, You really don't like cake much, do you? Baby girl, you know I sure do love cake. Chocolate cake with strawberries and real whipped cream on top. She pats my arm. Oh, yes, that is my favorite cake. Miss Adeline smells, smiles at me. I try to smile back, but my heart is racing as fast as the roller coaster at Coney Island. I can't tell her about the cake yet. How do you think Kamika feels? She probably feels... I, I don't know. Can you think of a word that she probably feels... I'm thinking like guilty because she was hula hooping instead of getting sugar for this cake that Miss Adeline loves. Pretty soon the neighbors start arriving. Miss Evelyn's wearing her Sunday church hat. Mr. John's all spruced up in a pinstripe suit. Jamara and Portia chasse in with their parents. That's a fancy word, chasse. That means like arrives, came in. They're still carrying their hula hoops from earlier today. Girls, I don't want to see any hula hoops today, says Mama, firmly to Jamara and Portia. Okay, Mrs. Hayes, says Jamara. She flashes her big, smirking smile at me. Kamika, you're done with hula hooping after today, aren't you? I smile right back at her. Don't bet on it yet, Jamara. Most of the parent presents are still unopen when Miss Adeline says, I do believe it's time for birthday cake. I swallow hard. Miss Adeline, I say, we made a cake, but it didn't turn out right. And then we needed more sugar to make another one, and I didn't get the sugar back in time because I was hooping. I was trying to be Jamara so I could be the hula hooping queen of 139th Street. It's my fault there isn't any cake. No cake, said Miss Adeline, raising her eyebrows. I look over at Jamara. She's spinning one of Mr. John's donuts round and round on her finger like a hula hoop. Suddenly, that gives me an idea. I'll be right back, as I yell. From the other room. In the kitchen, I set a chocolate donut on a pretty plate. I added whipped cream and strawberries. Mama comes in to help. I put a candle on top and she lights it. And I carry the donut cake to Miss Adeline. Mama starts singing happy birthday and everyone joins in. The candle glows as bright as Miss Adeline's face. The, why this is just about perfect, Miss Adeline, taking a bite of her donut cake. Now, Jamika, did you say that you were hooping? When I was a girl, I was the best hula hooper on the block. Adeline, don't start this nonsense, Miss Evelyn says as she marches over to us. You know very well I was the best. Miss Adeline looks at me. Baby girl, don't bring, why don't you bring some hoops on here and I'll show you what this old girl's got. My eyes find Mama. She shakes her head. Miss Adeline's already pushing back chairs to make room, and then she slips a hoop over her head, and right then I know. 
Miss Adeline's just like me. She's got the itch, the hula hooping itch. Her fingers start snapping and her feet start tapping. Her hips start swinging. And before we know it, that hoop is swishing right around Miss Adeline's waist. And then she's got it swinging around her neck. I glance over at Mama and see a smiling, pulling at her lips in spite of herself. Miss Adeline shimmies the hoop down past her knees. She spins it around her ankle as she hops on one foot, then the other. While the hoop still swishing round and round, Miss Adeline heads for the door. Miss Adeline grabs every one of my hoops, and Mr. John grabs another. Even Mama's hips are swinging as the whole party spills out onto the street. Everybody's got the itch, the hula hooping itch. Pretty soon we are swishing and swinging all the way down the block. Kamika, this is the best birthday I've ever had, Miss Adeline hollers. Jamera hops on over to me. Kamika, I know who the real hula hooping queen of 139th Street is. I do too, they say. So who do you think it is, everybody? If you're thinking it's Miss Adeline, you are correct. Jamera settles her hoop around her waist. You ready, Kamika? I was born ready, I say. The sidewalk is cooler than a spring rain and the street lights shine like lights. Swish, swiggle, swish. Do you guys remember what those words are called? Onomatopoeia. And guess what? It didn't matter who the 139th Street hula hooping queen was because it was Miss Adeline the entire time. So did you see how Jamika changed the way she was thinking from the beginning of the book to the end of the book? And it all ended up working out for everybody, even Jamika's mom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this read aloud. Have a wonderful day. And if you remember what one thing is from this book, remember when authors use fancy words that are sounds like swish or whoosh, those are called onomatopoeias.